The options on the reading settings page shape the experience for users who are visiting your site or interacting with your content via feeds. Let's explore what each option on this page does and how you can best use it to enhance your WordPress site. The first section called your homepage displays determines the content that is displayed on your site's homepage. It's pretty self-explanatory. You have two options to choose from, your latest posts or a static page that you can actually set yourself. If you select your latest post, your front page will simply be a chronological list of your most recent blog posts. This is what they'll see when they visit your primary site URL. On the other hand, if you select a static page, you can set not only the home page, but you could also set a post page where all of your blog posts will now show up. This of course depends on the type of website you have, but if you're not running just a blog, you'll probably want to enable a static page. The next section determines how many blog posts are shown before requiring users to click over to a new page. The default, as you can see, is 10. Page speed is the primary consideration when deciding how to configure this setting. The more posts you showcase per page, the greater the impact on performance and loading time. Therefore, we don't recommend going over the default of 10 posts. This next setting controls how many posts are included in your site's RSS feed, which users can subscribe to in order to access a chronological list of your published posts. When you add new content to your site, the feed will automatically update to keep readers informed. You can adjust the number of posts that will be included in your feed, and there's no right or wrong number here. It could be whatever you like. After setting that, you could determine whether each post in your feed will display an excerpt or the full text. In most cases, you'll want to go with the summary. The final option is the ability to discourage search engines from indexing this site. This option does two things. First, it adds a line of code to every page on your site, which tells search engines not to index your pages. It also modifies your site's robots.txt file, which is used as a reference by search engines. In this case, it will instruct search engines not to crawl or index any page on your site. However, keep in mind that even with these two additions, it's still up to the search engine crawler whether or not it honors the request. And there you go. That's everything you need to know about the reading settings page in WordPress. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.